Welcome back. The next story in today's episode is of Frontier Medieval, India's first medical science park developed by Frontier Lifeline Hospitals and Dr. K.M. Sherian Heart Foundation. This integrated healthcare park spanning 360 acres is being developed as a one-stop solution for healthcare, education, training, basic research and contract research outsourcing activities. I caught up earlier in Chennai with Padmashri Dr. K.M. Sherian, who is a pioneer of cardiac surgery in India. Have a look. Please give us an insight into Frontier Medieval, which is uh, recognized as the knowledge cluster of India from academicians and students. Well, Medieval has been created as something different from the usual medical cities. First of all, it is located in a village. Yeah. So we call it Medieval, Medi medical village. So this is about 40 kilometers away from Chennai mm -hmm. on the Calcutta Highway, yeah. that is National Highway 5. Here we have about six courses mm -hmm. for the, for starting from, people have finished the 10th standard, mm -hmm. then 12th, leading them to a degree, and then those who have finished already BSc degree, they can do a MSc and we are up to PhD. What are the basic needs of a research park? The basic needs for a basic research park are one, the clinical research, mm -hmm. then you need contract research, animal research, and all these things have been named in our center after Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, please tell us about the animal research that takes place uh, at this facility in Medieval. As I mentioned earlier, <clears throat> the regulatory certifications, like say especially from CPSCA and uh, uh, ICMR, DCGA, these are all important. We are lucky to have permission to conduct and breed animals, small animals and large animals. Mm -hmm. We can breed up to 500 large animals. And uh, most of the large animals, what we use are the dogs, sheep, and uh, pigs. Small animals is mainly rats, mice, rabbits, etc. Please tell us about the facilities that you have for uh, animal research in Medieval. This lab, at present, we are using for 10 studies for a company. Mm -hmm. They are making the bioabsorbable stents. So this is an exclusive facility only for animals. So I don't think there are many facilities like this in India where a cat lab is there only for pigs and sheep. We are around so many specimens here. So what is unique about your cardiac pathology museum? I feel that this is the largest cardiac pathology museum in at least in Asia. Okay. And uh, it has got more than 7,500 specimens. And it shows the comparative pathology mm -hmm. and the development. So starting with uh, Lucy, yeah. which is 3.5 million years old, oh. the replica, and the skeleton, mm. but once the sapiens started, homo became homo sapiens. Yeah. And look at all these specimens. These are all different, different congenital malformations. Mm. And these are all the aortic problem, mm. aneurysm atherosclerosis, etc., etc. And there are so many specimens which are still in the bottles, jars, because we do not have enough stuff, jars. Mm -hmm. But we have, in fact, put up a small factory to make these jars. As I said, we have got all types of hearts mm -hmm. where the diseases have been described. So it is very easy for uh, medical students, cardiac pathologists, pediatric cardiologists, cardiac surgeons, everybody to come and see about the anatomy. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, we have well trained people and comparative say for example this is a very 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 rare specimen this is an african lungfish where the fish has got lungs as we know usually the fish breathes through the gills yeah. Yeah. so this has got lungs mm. now we have some specimens of elephant's heart you see look at the size bull's heart buffalo heart you know all types of hearts are here so this is a very unique collection and the anaconda there yes from venezuela frontal lifeline is india's first sez in uh, medical science park so what are the advantages of uh, this sez the sez has been a new concept at that time and uh, that was to initiate and uh, as well as support new ventures in the field of industry and we were the first one to start an sez in the medical field okay. so this happens to be the first medical sez the advantage advantages are as such for any other sez what is number 1 you get lot of duty exemptions mm. number 2 is that you can get um, what, what do you call offshore banking facilities up to 500 million dollars can be brought in without any questions asked and if you invest whatever is the return yeah. you don't have to pay anybody anything mm -hmm. for 3 years the third aspect is that uh, you know the foreign companies can be attracted because there will not be any strike 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 is totally prohibited and next the only condition is whatever you do here you have to earn for an exchange so we happen to be the first one and we are leasing out some land for the companies who are interested in availing all these sec benefits so we have got one acre plots so we plan to lease out 30 plots of that and then use the common facility what we have here mm -hmm. so they don't have to replicate the bio hospital in frontier medieval is the first of its kind in india and seeks to harness india's traditional and alternate medicinal technologies such as ayurveda naturopathy and siddha this national medical science park aims to be the hub for research training and treatment with specific focus on regenerative medicine here we'll take another short break keep watching emerging sme